So welcome to your weekly reading. Bear in mind that this may not resonate with everyone. If this doesn't resonate with you, take what does resonate and leave the rest behind. Be sure to check out your moon, your rising, and where Venus was when you were born. If you don't know any of that information, there is a link for a free natal or birth chart in the description box below. So check it out and that will give you a more well-rounded uh, view of your week. Also remember energy is always in motion. So what I may have seen for this week may have happened last week, may be happening currently of course, and then may be happening in the future. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, hit the all notifications so that you don't miss any new readings. And please be sure to share with your friends if you're happy with your reading. And please, I'm asking for your help to get to a thousand subscribers. Um, that would be a great milestone for me and I appreciate it. All right, let's go. Sagittarius, welcome to your reading. Holy cow, this first week of November, you are, f you are feeling pretty blocked in every which way you turn. Starting off with the page of wands, this, this poor guy is, or poor girl, is in uh, reverse. So he's got the ideas, she's got the ideas, and feet planted firmly and ready to go forward and make something wonderful out of nothing, right? You know, just headed off in the right direction. But in reverse, he's just, I, I see him or her just stuck, like stuck in the sand. And with the hangman in reverse, in the pa even in the past and currently, like this whole week, maybe even parts of October, it's like you haven't been able to see things clearly at all. You try, you try, you try, but every which way you look, you're blocked. And so even hanging upside down, you can't see what you need to see. And this is so frustrating. It's like you want to give up, you want to throw in the towel sometimes. You're wondering if the effort you've put in, whether it's a relationship or work or your health even, you're wondering if it's all worth it all. So you may be dieting and exercising and you're not losing weight. You may be going through some legal process that you know you're in the right and you deserve money and you're wondering, oh, everything's stuck. Nothing's happening, nothing's moving forward. There's red tape or just because of COVID, whatever the progress isn't happening. So I pulled cards on this particular page in reverse to find out exactly what else it was. And it's block and blocks and blocks. The three of wands, it's delays. This poor merchant is not able to see um, to the other side. He's not able to see his commerce. He's not able to see the money flowing. It's like he's stuck. He can't move. His ships can't go forward. Ace of wands, same thing blocked, blocked ideas, blocked um, new beginnings, just blocked, blocked, even the high priestess in reverse, the poor thing, uh, you know, it's usually so psychic, so intuitive, so um, wise, and she's even blocked. So even your psychic energy, your intuition is blocked right now because you're so frustrated with the lack of progress. So you've even begin to, you've even begun to doubt what you saw is something positive that that could have turned out or something down the road it's like oh no you know I, I couldn't have been that wrong but you're feeling like you were wrong with what your gut was telling you but you're you weren't it's just the blocks are happening these are all beyond your control i feel like sagittarius i don't know what it is i know uh, i um this whatever it is there was fighting in the past so if it was a relationship of some sort work love lover family whatever it was there was fighting and it's almost like um everybody like both parties were trying to prove they were right both parties were saying they were right and neither one was able to listen to the other um or they didn't listen to you sagittarius but um because i'm feeling you were the one that was blocked so they were the ones that were not willing to listen because it's block 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 on your side so with this fighting you were also blocked but it wasn't your fault and you fought valiantly whatever it was Sagittarius you were blocked but look cheer up look at what you've got you've got the temperance card midweek and at the end of this clarification you've got the temperance card again Sagittarius so you've got validation things are going to balance out your emotions are going to balance out these feelings of despair the despondency the the frustration of things not being able to 
be what you want, whether it was um, starting a new job or a career or where you thought you'd be in life at this age. Don't be frustrated. Things are going to balance out and you're going to heal from this, whatever it was, Sagittarius, whatever bad choices you may have made or accidents that may have happened to you, things beyond your control, you will heal from it. You will heal. And look at this. You've got the Knight of Pentacles coming in. This is a sure-footed knight. He's not rushing in all hot-headed. He takes his time. So money will come. It will come slowly. It will come. The abundance, whatever it is that you need, will come. It will be taking its time. But trust that it's not just lagging. It's that when it comes, it will be yours. Whatever it is, it will come and it will be yours. And there won't be any going back. There won't be any mistakes made. What it, you will get, what it is that you need to have, it will happen. Now, you've got the Page of Cups again in reverse and the Eight of Cups in reverse. So you may be still, after you get this balance, validated by the Temperance card twice, after you get this balance and you see, you know, you've got to trust because You've got doubt here again, going back to that High Priestess in reverse, the Page of Cups. You're going to be having some doubt. You're going to be feeling um, insecure about yourself, your instincts, your gut. Um, you're going to feel like the gifts aren't coming, like this fishy, this little fishy in the cup that you're not going to get it. And there may be some fear of, it's like um, there may be some fear of making the changes that you need to move forward. Sagittarius okay so of course I did some more clarifiers on that and on this page of cups in reverse and you have to be able to let go because right now you're holding on so tightly because you're afraid you're going to make the wrong move or you're going to lose money whatever it is you're holding on so tightly but look at this you've got beautiful knight of wands energy coming in riding in all all hot-headed and he's like Look at me, look at me, not like the Page of Cups all in reverse and all doubtful and everything. He's like coming in with that red plume, that red feather on his hat. You can see him on the battlefield. You can see him on the parade grounds. He stands out like a sore thumb. He will be heard. He will not be silenced. He has audacity. He will speak for himself. He will fight for himself. He will stand up for himself. And that's the energy that you have to help you through these doldrums. Again, this fear, it's like you're going to balance out and feel good. You're going to start healing. And slowly but surely, again, because the money takes its time or whatever it is is taking its time, you're going to start to have that self-doubt again. But this, this guy, he is audacious. Like, he's just riding in and he just doesn't care. He just doesn't care. He will be seen. He will be heard. And because of this energy, Sagittarius, if you can harness it, look, this is being, you've got to let go. And this is letting go. It's like you're going to do it. Okay? You're not fighting anymore. You're not fighting the struggle and the battle anymore. You've just finally let it go. I see all these wands that you're trying to beat off, beat off. It's like, oh, you're just done with it. You're done fighting. And you're done doing it the old way. You're not afraid to move on anymore, and you're going to just allow. You're going to allow the gifts to come, Sagittarius. Look how beautiful that is. You're going to do it in a childlike way. Um, maybe some people from your past or your childhood or even some childhood memories might help you through this time. But you will release this, and you will be able to move on. All right? You may need to leave your comfort zone, Sagittarius, to do it. Um, sometimes we feel like because we know something, it's safe because we know it. So that's our comfort zone, right? But uh, the devil that we know is safer than the devil that we don't. But it's only because we know it. We're unsure of what the changes are that we bring. But Sagittarius, I feel like it's going to be good. Whatever changes you can make will be good. Look at that. That's beautiful. It's beautiful little boy bringing little girl flowers bringing her gifts but it's the childhood innocence it's like you know when we've been through so much we lose sight of that innocence we lose sight of what we first wanted when we were younger we lose sight of it's like kids have they don't worry about things right Sagittarius kids don't worry 
They don't worry about the bills. They don't worry about tomorrow. They don't worry about supper. They're just in the now, just like pets. And they don't worry about it. And that's really how you manifest. You don't worry about the future and you don't think about the past. You don't live in the past. You don't drag the past to the present with you. You just let everything go, release everything. Release everything, let all these cups fall away, and you may need to leave that comfort zone, leave what you know, and try to lighten up. Stop worrying, Sagittarius, because you're going to make it happen. You're going to make it happen, and you have the temperance card here, so it's going to be, it can be a very good week if you can fight through this and understand that the lack isn't your fault, the lack of movement isn't your fault, there are things that you cannot control, and this fighting in the past, don't worry about it, forget about it, it's in the past, and so you'll be able to balance this out and move forward. Sagittarius, you're going to move forward and the money will come, whatever it is, uh, whatever the money, the blessing, the new love, the pentacles or coins are all about abundance in every form, good health, you may actually be healing from a heart attack, you're going to heal, you may be healing from a broken heart, this may have all caused a broken heart, you're going to heal, this may be physical pain because of whatever this is, the fighting, you're going to heal and the money will come. The healing will come. The help that you need will come. It may come slowly, so you might be waiting and waiting and waiting, and that doubt may start to creep in again. But I, I Sagittarius, it's going to work out. It's going to work out. You've got that beautiful Knight of Wands energy, the beautiful Six of Cups, and you're going to just let go and just let go of whatever, whether it's stubbornness or it's fear, um, fear of making a mistake, and you're just going to move on. You can do this this week, Scorpio, and you can set the tone for the rest of the month. And these struggles may come back, but listen to your intuition. You're psychic, for crying out loud, Sagittarius. You've got the gifts. You know what you know. I mean, the high priestess, look at her. She's holding that scroll in her lap. She's holding that scroll in her lap, and it's closed. It's sealed. It's rolled up because she already knows what's in it. She doesn't need to go hit the books. She already knows. So you already know what you need to do. Trust your gut, Sagittarius. Trust your gut this week. You're going to be fine and you're going to heal. And so stay spiritual and I'll see you next week. And please leave me a comment. Let me know what happened, okay? Thanks.